week four. Um, start of the season, when I put out my first video, said I can't start 0-3. And then Chris beat me. Then Ricky beat me. Then I put out another video saying I can't start 0-3. Got to figure out a way to beat Ray. Need to put up over 200. Got to get the team to going. And I lost to Ray. Um, so here we are, 0-3. Not what I wanted. Um, I'm in a hole, but team clicked a bit last week. Felt good about it. Um, if the coach wasn't such a dickhead, we could have won that game. Um, I'll get to that in a little bit, but... Um, yeah, you know, Chris brought their A game, Ricky brought his A game, Ray brought his A game. And that's that's what I expect. When you when you play the Patrick division, they're gonna put up over two hundred points. You know, it's it's not these cupcake teams that you get to play outside of the division where, you know, they're putting up one fifty against each other and they're in a big battle of the old one sixty one to one thirty and forties. It's it's not that. It's it's you got to be over two hundred, or you're going to get your ass kicked. Um, week one, I put up like one fifty. Week two, I put up like one fifty, and and that could have got me some wins in the other divisions. But again, this is this is the big boy division for a reason. Um, put up a fight against Ray. It just it just didn't work out. Um, Ricky asked a very fair question. He asked why I started Goff over Brady given the matchups. Uh, I've been asking myself that all week. Um, season might be looking a little bit different. One and two is a little better than 0 and three. Um, I, I know Brady had a, an easy matchup against the Jets at home. I, I really thought the, the Pats were going to go up real big, real early, and they were going to just shut Brady down. They were going to run the ball. They were going to protect him. And he... He put up points quick, but again, I really thought it would just kind of stop. And with Goff, part of it was me being stupid. And, you know, I went to the game. I went to the Browns-Rams game Monday night, Sunday night, excuse me. And I, I wanted to see Goff live. I wanted to see Goff just just have that goff cooked connection all night, just go off. Um, and... You know, it just it just didn't happen. Um, you know, the Browns were they were picking up guys off the street to fill their secondary. Their top two corners were out, so I thought I thought he had the matchup. I thought that it was going to be pretty high scoring. It was going to be back and forth, um, and I thought Goff had plenty of opportunities to put up points. Unfortunately, put up five less points, six less points than Brady. I lost by four. That's on me. So. On to week four, uh, Ben's 3-0. Ben just put up like 250, so I got another tough task here in front of me, but I, I got to get it done. I'm going to get it done. Um, it, I'm, I'm not as scared of Ben's team as, you know, these, the, the Patrick division. I mean, those guys, I know they're going to put up 200 every single time I play them. I don't think Ben does that. I think Ben's looking at 170, 180, um, and I'm going to push 200 again, going to get that first win, uh, and then we're... We're one and we're one and three, and we're just gonna have to keep rolling. Um, I've I've done fairly well outside of the division um, my entire stint here with this league, so I gotta keep that going. Put me in a in a good spot to at least have a chance to put up some points and, and win some games in the the back end of my divisional matchups and and see what we can do from there. But starts this week, gonna get it done. Also. A little surprised by the lack of activity uh, in the league so far. Some owners are participating, obviously. They're, they're the regulars. But last year when I didn't participate in the beginning, I got fucking killed for it. Like, absolutely killed. Whenever I don't participate, I'm destroyed for it. But then you have people who I, I mean, I, I've never even seen a video from. You have people who put one video out and then never hear from them again. You have people who just disappear or don't ever even show up, and, and it just kind of kind of goes unnoticed. So I'm, I'm a little surprised there, but I, I hope for the league's sake that people start to chime in more. Um, and Yeah, that's what, that's what makes this league fun. So I, I'm curious to see if Chris has anything to say about that. I'm sure he's not happy. Um, Ray, appreciate all the content you put in. 
Um, I know it's not easy putting in all those hours to write the rundowns, do this, do that, and it kind of sucks when no one responds or no one does brings any value to the table. So it is much appreciated. Keep it going. Um, yeah, here we go.